Hey there, Adam Brewer, Senior Technical Specialist covering security compliance and identity at Microsoft. And I've been doing a series of videos covering those exact solutions, walking through them, showing you what they look like and how they actually work. And so today's video is on Microsoft Information Protection. This is our technology that applies sensitivity labels at an individual document level and follows the document wherever it goes. So as opposed to other solutions that get really hung up on trying to figure out every possible exit and then blocking all the exits and then not having protection if a file gets beyond the exit, our technology follows the file wherever it goes. And it's based on the idea that while you might want to classify and label all the documents in your organization, not everything is highly sensitive. And so we have a range of solutions, as simple as just a little metadata tag to visual marking, header, footer, watermark, all the way up to really strong protection and encryption. So your people can pick what a document should be labeled. You can build an automation to do that through machine learning or, or algorithms. You can also crawl all of your data on premises and in the cloud to get it all labeled and protected as well. So we have a range of solutions and we support all the major platforms. We're on iOS, macOS, Android, Windows 10, and you don't even have to install anything. We're baked into the office clients and all of those platforms now. So we think we've got a really compelling solution that meets your users where they are on whatever device or platform they use. So what I'd like to do today is show you first how you configure it in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, and then show you a couple of examples on clients. We'll first show the web, how I can do classification right there. So basically any platform that runs a web browser is supported, even Linux, and then I'll show you the client experience on Windows 10. And we're doing both manual classification as well as automatic classification. One example, we're using machine learning to detect something like source code to apply a label. And then the other one, we're using algorithmic based detection to determine that there's a credit card number in a file and take action on that as well. So thanks for joining and let's jump over to the Compliance Center and get started. So here we are in our Microsoft 365 Compliance Portal. And here is where I can configure my different sensitivity labels. So you notice I have information protection here on the left column, and now I can define my different labels. So I've already done this and actually more or less mapped against the Microsoft um, system where we start with non-business and then we go public, general, confidential, and highly confidential. And as I go down the list, they become more sensitive. And you notice there's an order here, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll also notice I can have sub labels. So I can have a confidential label just for FTEs. I can have a confidential label for my FTEs and my extended users like vendors or, or contractors. I can also have labels that are specific to different departments in my organization. So you'll notice I have one for legal and I have one for finance here, just as an example. So I build out my labels and then I can assign them to different users and groups in my organization. And I don't necessarily have to make every label available to every user. So in the example of my legal and finance labels, I might only assign those to folks in those departments. Make sense? Now, uh, labels get assigned to documents through one of three ways. One, manually labeling through our clients, like the Office clients, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Through on-premises files, we have a scanner solution that can crawl on-premises file shares. And in the cloud, we can do auto-labeling, which is now baked right into Microsoft 365. So let me show you an auto-labeling um, policy here. And I have one where I'm looking for personally identifiable information here in the United States. And then what I can do is define where this looks in the Microsoft 365 cloud. So you notice, um, first off, I'm looking for taxpayer identifier number or TIN, a social security number or a passport number. And then I'm checking all exchange emails, so everything in Outlook, um, as well as SharePoint and OneDrive. And then I can define the sites or accounts that I wanna look for. So that's new technology. This hasn't existed in the past and is something you might find very interesting. So now let's switch gears and let's walk to an example where I, as an individual user, might want to assign a label to a document. So here I am, I'm in Word Online, so right in the web browser. So we're already completely cross-platform because if you have a web browser, you have access to this. And you'll notice I have a sensitivity button on my ribbon. And here's where I can pick my different sensitivity labels here. Like I could assign this to um, my FTEs. 
And just with a click, I'm done. I've now assigned that label. So note that it's now got the check mark next to it. And I get the uh, tooltip here to tell me what it does as well. So that's support in the web. And now let's pivot over to my Windows 10 PC and show you how we do it there. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC, and I'm going to fire up Microsoft Word, and I've got a new document ready to go here. Now you'll notice that I have the same sensitivity button I showed you in Word on the web. So we're keeping that user interface consistent across all of our different platforms that we support. Now I have two examples I want to show you here. The first one is going to do recommended classification. So we're going to say to the user, hey, you should classify it this way based upon a machine learning model that looks for source code. So here we are, we're looking for source code, the top 20 to 25 languages we see in GitHub. And within about 15 seconds or so, we'll pass through that ML model. And it's gonna come back and tell me that it recommends right there that I should label this with this specific label. And this message is customizable for your organization. Now I'm gonna accept that sensitivity and in just a moment here, I'm going to have encrypted my document and it says it's done, okay. I have a watermark in the back and you'll notice I have a footer as well as a header that I have applied. Again, all customizable. So that is recommended classification using our machine learning classifiers. Now you can train those yourself. You can give us a SharePoint site with a whole bunch of files that it might be hard to write an algorithm to detect, but with an ML model, it can easily detect, say, a specific form. And then you can build your own trainable classifier, and it can work with this technology as well. So this is built-in machine learning, nothing to add on to your Microsoft Word client at all. It just works. Now let's give a second example here. I'm going to pull up another notepad and I've got some fake uh, payment card information here and, and a fake identity. And now I'm going to paste this into this other Word document. Now this is going to be slightly different behavior because this is using our algorithmic detection. We have many, many, many sensitive information types built right in to Microsoft 365 and you can use those or you can write your own as well. We support custom ones through things like uh, regular expression. But in about 15 seconds, again, give or take, there we go. Except this time, notice that it was automatically applied. Because this is a stronger detection, payment card information follows a very strict algorithm with length and the first digit and check digits and everything else, we can detect with a high level of accuracy things like payment card information. So I automatically applied the classification, but you'll note the experience is much the same that we've put a header, footer, and watermark on the page. Now, users can manually classify things as well. I showed you this in Word on the web, but if I tried to drop this classification to a less sensitive level, which would also remove the protection, I can prompt the user for a business justification. Hey, you need to tell me why you're doing this. So here I can choose my option. We'll say the previous label no longer applies. And now I've lowered my classification. Now, by the way, that process that just happened, that is cataloged and logged and stored in your tenant on the web. So your compliance team can go review that later at their convenience. So that's the experience with manual labeling, recommended labeling, and automatic labeling on a Windows 10 PC. So that should give you some flavor of how Microsoft Information Protection works on the web and on Windows 10. But don't forget, we're on all the major platforms. We're on Android, we're on Mac OS, we're on iOS, both for opening documents as well as labeling them, protecting them, and doing all the things you saw right here. So hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you like the videos and wanna keep them coming. If you do, hit that like button, share it with your friends, comment, let me know what you'd like to see next. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.